Greetings fellow KBS listeners, this is Jeff Bolognese from Baltimore, Maryland with another Tech Tips video tutorial, this time on using RealPlayer to record KBS audio on demand. Well, here we are on the KBS World Radio webpage and I'm going to assume that you've already installed RealPlayer from the real.com website and we're going to test it out here with a recording of an on-demand programming. Remember that the only programming you can record with Real Player is from the on-demand audio as opposed to the live streaming. So we'll go to the listen again section here and um, I'm going to cheat just a little bit because I'm having some trouble capturing specific images but I will click on the Trend Korea program and that is going to pop up my audio player here. Now one of the things that's not showing up unfortunately when I'm trying to do this capture is when I mouse over here I should get a little window that pops up saying download this video. Um, that's coming from Real Player. Uh, once I click that what will happen is that Real Player will come up and you can see here that I have already started doing the recording of the program and it's about three minutes into the 16 minutes of Trend Korea. Um, one of the things with the real player is it will take you as long to record the program as the program takes to play. So it's basically just going to record it as you're listening to it. So I can wait for this entire thing to finish but I'm going to cheat just a little bit right now and I'm going to stop that recording. Here's the recording. It's called KBS World Radio AOD Player. Um, now, right now, this is in a format that isn't particularly useful to us. So let me go to that particular site. And um, in Real Player Downloads. So here's the, the file that we just recorded. It's in the Real Player format. And what I'd really like to have that is in, in is the MP3 format. So I can convert that pretty easily. When I mouse over here, you'll see I have option to trim. It's going to let me edit it and then convert. So I'm going to click convert and it's going to give me some various options here. Uh, what I'd really like to do is save it as MP3 audio only, but you'll see that if you want, there are lots of different options uh, for saving the videos. And I'm going to have it go to the same directory as the original, but I could change that if I wanted and click start. And it's a very quick process and it's done. Now, when I go back to my directory, you'll see I now have KBS World Radio Audio Player AOD 7, uh, and that's in the MP3 format. And then I, of course, can change that name. But the MP3 format is, of course, something that can be taken to your MP3 player or any other uh, way that you like to play your MP3s. But it makes that file very portable and very easy to use. So that's a very brief tutorial on how to use the real player. If you have any questions, send me an email at kbstechtips.wordpress.com or post a message on the KBS message board or even the KBS Facebook page.